page 32, Rock Band. Last piece in the book. That's interesting. So let's take a look at this and see what we're getting into. I look it over. It's one page long. It's longer than that, but it's one page of music to learn. So clef signs are still treble and bass clef signs. Now it's two sharps in the key signature. We're back in the key of D major. So make sure you can do the D major scale, at least one octave up and down. I have four four time signature, and I see a bunch of quarter notes, eighth notes, uh, whole notes, and half notes. Don't see any dotted rhythms anywhere, so we're okay there. Right hand first. Let's make sure we understand what the hand is doing. You're starting out. Your third finger here, then put you here. To start, not going to stay here, but we're here. It's one and two and three and four and. Then third, third finger on the B. I like to, if your hand's big enough, reach up. If not, you got to move. That's fine. Whichever. I don't know how big your hands are. But third, third major. And then cross over, third finger. It's like a, in a scale. Now, then second line, you got to come up here. Now, they want thumb again here. No. I want, I want thumb here, but I want second finger on the A then. So it's got to be, i got to stay here. I've got to stay in this position in the first line, or first measure. Four. Now I can do a thumb. Now cross over. That's all. So in that first measure, I'm just fingering it that way. But again, if you want, fingering in the book is fine. I just don't like moving around. moving around like that. Anyway, second line last measure, it's a G natural. It's a G natural anyway. You don't need the sharp the natural sign. I honestly don't know why they even give you a G natural there. There's there's no G sharp anywhere. And the third line it's one, two now it now it's a G sharp. And then one and you have rests here, so you can move here. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one and. You just come down, that's fine. We didn't have the rest, we might have to adjust the fingering a little bit. But the rest give us time to move. Left hand, we we'll just chords. D chord, and then third major up here, G chord, that's my G chord. Second line, you're at A chord, G chord. Moving around, okay. Second line, last measure, C natural here. You do need the natural sign here because this is C sharp in the key signature, so it's here. And then third line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Get them. So then let's put the hands together. And when I first put the hands together, I'm probably going to hesitate. I don't care. I just want to know how they're working together. So we're starting here. Both hands are coming up. The left hand could come up during the rest. Have it here ready to go so you can focus on the right hand because you don't have a rest in the right hand. you got to get it up here. So if you can already have the left hand here, you're a little ahead. So here, get it up here and you're ready. Then you can focus on the right hand. And then second line. Now we're here. So. And then here. And then it cross over. Line last measures chords here to here. Both are moving one note. One key. Third line is. So I'm not moving the left hand, just the right hand. So I put the hands together and then I go back over it slowly and carefully and work out the hesitations so I can get a steady beat going. And then I can add in the articulation, uh, fl flexing at the wrist, short staccatos. On the key and I'm bouncing off.
second line last measure, they're accented. You play them a little louder. And the first one's staccato. And the third line, they're all staccato. And, and the third line, after the whole note, lift up. It's a new phrase. Lift up. Don't connect them. Put in the articulation and then I'll add the dynamics. F at the beginning is loud, forte. It's going to be the right hand. These chords need to be in the background. And I'm staying that way into the third line. Well, that last measure of the second line, those are accented. That makes those notes very loud. And it's both hands. Okay, don't get carried away. Let the wrist claps a little bit on. Don't pound on it. Mm -mm. Third line, you come down a little bit to moderately loud. It's really the left hand. Let the right hand get in the background. We just let the left hand carry it for a bit. And then the last line, you have a crescendo. You're going to go up to loud. So you start out moderately loud here. If you want to start out moderately soft and go up, gives you more room to go a little louder. Now it's loud. This is still in the background. You need to get into it and feel it so you can feel the dynamics is what it's for. Then I think about the speed. Well, a fast rock beat. Good luck with that. What can you play accurately? That second line, what can you do here? These accent, these uh, these eighth notes, they got they got to be even and controlled. So don't go faster than that. Everybody's fast will be a little bit different, but it's it's a rock band. So okay, I don't know. It's a it's fast enough. If you can't go that fast accurately, then slow it down. Now for the roadmap, or when do you go where? It's a little tricky here. There is a DC alfine at the bottom. Well, the DC sends you back to the beginning, and fine is at the end of the second line. But at the second line, you have endings, and they don't label them. They should label them, first ending and second ending. Hmm. You can take a pencil and put in a little one for the first ending, and put in a little two for the second ending. They have the words there. You don't need the words. If you understand how endings work, you just do it. So the first ending, you're going to play that the first time you go through it. And there's no repeat sign at the end. See, an ending doesn't have to have a repeat sign. But if there's no repeat sign, and there isn't, then you'll skip any other endings, because there could be more than one. There could be a whole group. Skip all the other endings and go immediately to whatever is after them and go on there. So it says to line three, and basically, yes, that's what you're going to do. You're going to skip the last measure because that's the second ending. And you go directly to line three and play it. Then the DC sends you back to the beginning. And the second time you play it, then you play the second ending. You skip the first ending and do the second ending. And that's how that works. Again, please don't copy me. It's just one way of doing it. You don't have to go that speed. Play around with the dynamics. Remember the natural accents. One, two, three, four. The left hand's playing on them. That helps a little bit. Let's play this together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do louds and softs. I'll do the staccatos and the slurs. We're going to do the DC alfini and the whole bit. So I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go. Thank you.
next line. Second ending. One.